What is up, my riders? So this is going to be a little scary, but also a little reassuring because I am talking about everything that is wrong with my blood results that came back and I'm going to go into detail and show you guys everything on screen as well just to verify what's wrong. But I have the computer to the right of me and I'm just going to read off some of the things and kind of get you guys caught up to speed. There's two videos prior to this that you want to check out if you haven't already. I've been trying to pinpoint whether I have a testosterone issue or a thyroid issue and I had to do a complete fasted nine or 10 panel for blood to see what was truly wrong. I also visited an endocrinologist which specializes in, in the hormone related stuff and I got my results back for the blood and I wanna to talk to you guys about the blood results but I also wanna to talk to you about what he said. So that's what this video is gonna be going into. So jumping off, TSH is your thyroid stimulating hormone. I realized that that's what it stands for. As you guys know, that was high and that is what dictates hypothyroidism and them making me go to a endocrinologist because the doctor didn't feel comfortable taking it on himself, not knowing a lot about that kind of stuff. Uh, it was a 5.7 last time I got my blood work. In a month, it has gone up to a 6.28 which is marked as high. I had something called IGF-1, which was in range, and I guess that is just like a hormone that has to do with you being a male. Uh, I guess they look at that if they think that there's something wrong with your testosterone-related stuff. Uh, going into testosterone, I actually got my free and my total. Ironically, when I fasted, uh, my testosterone went up a bit, which I think is normal, but my testosterone is in the range of 432, uh, it, first thing in the morning, fasted, and that is out of a range of 250 uh, to 1100. My free testosterone is almost in the middle at uh, 82.9. So I guess I don't have terrible testosterone in comparison. If I was fasted and it was still in the 200s, I feel like they would have like said something about the testosterone, but unfortunately they haven't said anything. So I don't think that's going that way. Um, even though I was like, kind of open to the idea at this point because of all the issues that I've been having. First, getting this stuff, assuming that it was testosterone because of me just in the past year experiencing low sex drive, gained weight randomly that I can't shed off, uh, really bad mood, really bad depression coming out of nowhere. And, and just in general, my motivation has always been low and my energy levels have always been low, but this past like year has been terrible. And I thought, well, at 25 years old, maybe my testosterone's getting bad or something's wrong, but we'll get into that. So next is T4, and I'm gonna use this website to tell you exactly what it is. It is, it is a thyroid stimulating hormone attached to TSH, seen in elevated levels to be hyper and uh, levels that are decreased or are hypo. Uh, they use that to kind of identify what it is. If your levels are corresponding to that with the higher elevated TSH or the really low TSH, indicating either hypo or hyperthyroidism, they would look at the T4 next. And for some reason, mine is in range. Mine's right, in, right straight in the middle at 1.3. Um, there's something called thyroid peroxidite peroxidase antibodies they looked at that that was in range um it needs to be less than nine u milliliters and mine is less than one fsh that is another hormone related to the thyroid sorry i'm looking over so much all right fsh um i'm not sure it doesn't really tell me what it is but um it is a 2.3 uh, out of 1.6 to 8 milliliter units, uh, that's fine. The LH is another thing, I think, testosterone related. Uh, that was a 1.9, so that was still in range. My prolactin, uh, I don't know, I read that's like a female hormone or something, but it's used to test males. That is in range, that is closer to uh, high, but it is 15.7. And then I have the estradiol, which is less than 15, which is in the green, 
saying that it has to be less than 39. And I'm gonna be showing you guys each one of these when I talk about them. But uh, that is pretty much my results, which is weird because the only thing that has shown back to back to be considerably bad is my TSH, my thyroid stimulating hormone keeps going up. So I sent the results back to my doctor via like a portal that I have online to talk to him about that. And this is his exact words, verbatim of what he said, and I'll be showing this on screen just to prove. I received the labs and the TSH is indeed slightly higher now. The free T4 is normal. So this would be consistent with subclinical hypothyroidism, meaning that it hasn't been full blown hypothyroidism yet. So they caught it in an early state. The test for autoimmune thyroid disease, TPO, was normal, but is still a likely form of autoimmune thyroid disease, meaning that my autoimmune system uh, attacks my thyroid um, and that is what causes these levels. They have to like pinpoint why your th levels would be like this out of whack anyways, and it's not like some fluke thing. If they're seeing that my TSH levels are going higher and higher each month, they're going to want to put something into action because hypothyroidism, um, when it gets to a certain point, is very, very hard to deal with. They don't take it lightly, and they're not going to usually do something if it's acute. And what he's basically saying in this is he assumes that it is something related to Hashimoto. I'll put on screen, it is an autoimmune disorder that attacks the thyroid. It is a name for that. So I'm guessing he thinks it's around that. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that's what it sounds like, at least that's what my assumption is. And then he said, I would recommend starting thyroid hormone replacement for 50, 50 micrograms daily. If you were willing to proceed with this, let me know, take care. So after talking to him and everything, um, right off the bat, he thought that uh, I had an issue when I sat down with him. Obviously, he's not someone that's just quick to throw a medication at me. Uh, looking at my TSH levels, he could have like easily just been like, all right, well, it is pretty high because it's out of range and everything that I was having symptom related was matching up with that. Get more blood. Let's pinpoint it even more. Now, that might sound like, I guess, a cash grab if you're looking at it from a different way, but... I feel more reassured that he wanted to look into it more before throwing medication at it and knowing that in a month I've been giving it in between the last blood work and we see this steadily climbing, I would like to actually go after it and I would not mind trying out something like that. My mom has a friend that has something similar and they say it works. Uh, it helps with energy um, when it's used properly. It's supposed to help with weight loss, it can actually, studies have found that it can help up to 10% of weight off your body while taking it. I think that's within the first year. Me not having a lot of energy, me feeling very like crappy every single day, and even the fact that this can affect my mood and stuff is a big reason why I want to give it a shot. So I'm going to be going through this whole, th this whole process with you guys and updating you constantly on how I feel. But this is going to be the major update on everything that has led up to this. So this is going to be uh, just the whole blood work panel thrown out for you guys so that I can be transparent and let you guys know. And maybe this can motivate some other people to check out their thyroid if they're experiencing similar issues that I've had. Um, and that is why I kind of delve into this series and was hoping that I could help other people out with this. Uh, it's a really strange thing. Never did I think that I would have a thyroid issue or something like that, but I definitely do believe that um, I'm someone that definitely has something, and I'm glad that I can at least pinpoint it. That's why I feel a little bit more reassured now, but um, I'm definitely gonna go ahead with it because I think that it's worth giving it a try, and I will go through the process with you guys and tell you guys how I feel throughout this process. Um, apparently this is something that you can feel almost instantaneously within the first couple days. You should feel a little bit of a noticeable improvement. And if not, they can like raise it up. But uh, 50 is like a good starting point. And I don't think that he wants to go full blown, like throw everything. If it's just the start of hypothyroidism, I'm glad that everything is like at least coming to light. And I'm gonna give this a shot and let you guys know. So come along with me on this journey. And uh, you guys will find out for yourself how it affects me. And maybe maybe this will find the right person and help someone along the way as well with their journey dealing with like mental health and uh, everything else randomly that I've had in the past 
couple years. Needless to say, I do feel like I can at least get a little bit of this under control, so it makes me feel a lot better. And hopefully this uh, reassures a lot of you guys because I get common questions all the time, asking on my live streams and everything like that, um, what I'm going to be doing and what is wrong with me and am I really gonna get testosterone and all this crazy stuff. But um, that was just a theory. That was um, one thing that they were looking at heavily, but that's what it is. So I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one as always.